Hello, Cancer viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you, just whatever the cards want to say. This could also be about career. It could be about money, um, whatever the story is. Sometimes there are specific messages that come through, so we'll just we'll see what the current story is. We've got cold, card, cold, guarded, distrusting. We have open, honest communication, message. So this is an interesting energy. Got some diverse energies here. Hmm. Someone's hesitating to send you a message because they feel like you might not give this a second chance. They feel like you might be cold, you might be guarded, you might be distrusting. Like you might not believe in them anymore. They're not sure if you would give this another chance. I feel like they're ultimately going to submit to their emotions, though, for you. I feel like even though they're scared and they're insecure and they're kind of shy and awkward. For some, this could be a secret admirer that wants to confess their feelings. Someone who's kind of watching you on social media and they, they feel like you're beautiful and you're out of their league. But in their, you know, they've been having mixed feelings and hesitation, like thinking this, you know, you're above them. But I feel like they're ultimately going to submit to their feelings, whether this is a secret admirer or this is someone from, from your past. Um, whoever this person is, I feel like they're going to submit. I feel like they're going to get in. They're going to cave and send this message is what I'm feeling. This person's been spying on you for a little while now. I feel like for, for quite a while, actually. Um, this could be someone that you're friends with on, like, Facebook or Instagram or, like, Snapchat, social media. Um, or maybe, like, you have a platform, like, here on YouTube or TikTok, and they watch you. Um... I feel like there's miscommunication where they feel like you're cold and guarded or they feel like you're taken or like you're not interested in them or um, or something of that sort. But it could just be that you're really busy or you have a lot going on or like maybe you haven't noticed this person really. So I feel like there's like miscommunication here, but it's going to be cleared up. There's going to be a hidden truth that's going to be revealed. I hear an airplane. I don't know if that's relevant to some of you, like an airplane, helicopter, could be like a pilot um, for a couple of you. Could be someone that lives at a distance, another state, another city. Um, but yeah, there's a hidden truth being revealed here. There is miscommunication, and I think someone's going to realize that you... You aren't actually cold and guarded and distrusting. Maybe it's just how you come off. Like maybe your energy. Maybe you just carry yourself with like a confidence or a pride. And um, sorry, let me straighten that out for you guys. Like you carry yourself a certain way. So maybe this person like is kind of intimidated and they misunderstand you. But they're gonna they're gonna take that leap of faith anyway. Is what I'm feeling. Like they they want to know. They they feel like kind of confused. Like they don't know if you're interested or or if this is like an old person. Like they don't know if you'd give them another chance. They don't know if too much time has gone by. But I'm getting that they want to try. Like, they want to put themselves out there and see what happens. So it's like miscommunication is, um, you know, coming to light. A hidden truth is going to be revealed, and it's going to cause someone to be vulnerable. To be open to this. This could be someone where it's like you rejected them or they rejected you, but it was like, like over a misunderstanding. Like, maybe you guys got in, like, for some of you, just for some of you, maybe you guys got in, like, some kind of fight or something, and, like, you thought they were telling you that you're trash, or they thought you were saying they're trash, or that you don't want them, or whatever, and, like, someone's gonna come to the realization, like, like, no, like, you know, they were just hurt. Like, you're gonna, you, someone is, like, insecure here, and so they, they, they misunderstood a conversation. This is just for a couple of you. But it's almost like you were never being rejected or they were never being rejected. It's like it might be like to the point where you made it really obvious. Like you might have made it obvious that you were into them. And it's like they just didn't understand it. Like they didn't. This wouldn't be something harsh. Like if they t if they told you off, if they're really like, no, you know, screw you. I don't want you. Then then no, this isn't for you. This would be more like. This would be more that's like. Someone who's, like, upset, like, why didn't you ever message me? Like, why haven't you messaged me lately? Where have you been? And someone's just like, oh, they're angry. They hate me. Instead of, like, seeing that there's pain there or that they're upset about the, the distance or something like that. Or, like, someone, there's just some kind of miscommunication there. But it's like someone was just acting out of insecurity, either you or them. I feel like a hidden truth is being revealed, though, about this. 
And I feel like you're going to look back on certain messages and you're going to see the pain there, or they're going to look back on certain pet messages and they're going to, and they're going to see your pain, whereas they didn't see it before. Like you might have like sent them like a long message. Like this could be someone from your past and maybe you like put yourself out there. Like you just sent like a long message about like how you're tired of them hurting you and you, um, you know, you really want something with them, but like, you know, you, you don't want to keep doing this to yourself. And like, they were so insecure that all they heard was like, she or he wants to move on. They're sick of me. Like they didn't, it was like in one ear out the other. It's like, you were telling them, or this could be, you know, it, take it how it resonates. Either they told you this or you told them this, but it's like someone, I, I'm seeing like a long, long paragraph on like social media or like through text or something or a phone call, um, some kind of communication from a distance. And it's like someone poured their heart out. Someone, either you or them, it's like someone was just like, I just see like a lot of pain, a lot of emotion in this message, whatever this was. And someone took the message the wrong way. Someone didn't understand it, you know? Like, you might have given them an ultimatum, and they just, they assumed you were just sick of them. Because this wasn't someone, I'm not getting that this was someone that was trying to end things with you, or vice versa. Like, someone was just confused, and that, that confusion is being cleared up. Someone's going to have some epiphanies here, and they're going to go back and read those messages they're going to reread a message that you sent or you're going to reread a message that they sent. Someone's rereading a message and having a realization and that realization is going to lead them to be open to this again and to be vulnerable and to want to communicate again and, and start things up again. So I just feel like someone poured their heart out. Like someone was just like, you know, like gave like an ultimatum or said like, you know, like I, like I really care about you. Like I want to see you, but like, you know, you're always too busy for me or it's like, like you keep saying you're going to come over and then you just don't come over. Like what's why, like what's going on with that? Or like, you know, it feels like you just want everybody else, but me or like something, something where someone, it could have been like a drunk message too, for some of you where it's like someone just poured it out. Like it had been building up for a while and someone just let loose on somebody here, but I'm getting that the other person did not take it the right way. They th felt like they were being rejected because of their insecurities. It's not anything. It's not necessarily anything that you did wrong. It's just their own insecurities. Like they took it as like, like, wow, this person's sick of me. I'm stressing this person out. See, like, you know, she's saying I'm busy all the time. See, like, and they don't realize that you were just saying like, hey, I'm busy. Like, or like, hey, you're busy a lot. Like, come back to me, you know, um, they thought it was like, you know, you're saying like, oh, you're, you're too busy. Like, you're not good enough for me. You're, you know, something like that, where it's like, they just misunderstood a lot. Of, they didn't see the pain. They just, they felt anger from your message, even though a lot of it was actually pain. They couldn't see through it. This person does not have like the social skills or they're just not, I don't know what, but it's just like, they're, they just didn't, they didn't get it. They didn't understand that that was pain behind that message or you didn't understand that. You know, it was like two people that cared about each other and wanted to get on the same page, but they kept miscommunicating. You know, they kept rejecting each other, even though they didn't want to reject each other, if that makes sense. And if this is your story and you want me to go more in depth, just send me an email. My email is below in the description box, right below this video. Um, it is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. But yeah, it's right in the description box below this video. You can just copy and paste it. Um, any donations are appreciated. They really add up. My donation links are also below. And um, yeah, please subscribe too. And if it resonates, you know, share. Maybe this story is for someone else that you know as well. Thank you guys. But um, but yeah, it's like a hidden truth is going to be revealed where someone's going to realize the pain behind that message. And it's going to make them want to reach out. There's like a you know, Mercury retrograde always brings exes back, you know, a lot of the time. So it's like someone might have like a prophetic dream or they might have like an epiphany or like an awareness. Like they might have, um, they might start thinking about you. So it's like if you sent them this message, it's like they might start thinking about you out of nowhere. Maybe they're popping up into your head and you don't know why. And it's because they're thinking about you suddenly. Like this Mercury retrograde energy is making them miss you again and like re want to revisit this connection. Like there's unfinished business here kind of is what I'm hearing. Could be like a karmic cycle that's unfinished as well with you guys. But I'm getting like, 
either you or them, someone's going to revisit this connection. It's going to be mutual. It's going to be either you start thinking about them and missing them, and then they're going to pick up on that energy and they're going to start missing you too. Or it's like the other way around where they're missing you. They're thinking about you out of nowhere. Or maybe you guys are going to bump into each other suddenly or something like that. Or like so, something on social media reminds them of you or something of that sort. Or like an old friend like brings you up to them or vice versa. But um, or maybe some of you are like visiting like a town that they lived in or something. Like you're going by that area for, for a couple of you, I feel. There's like a reminder or something, I feel. Like there's like a trigger is kind of what I'm feeling for a lot of you. There's a trigger for you or for them that's going to bring this energy and emotion back up. But it could be, yeah, it could be that they're thinking about you and you're going to start picking up on it and missing them too because you're feeling their energy of missing you. But um, I feel like when this happens, someone's going to go through the old messages. They're going to rethink things. They're going to have like a little bit of like a spark moment. They're going to be like, wait a minute, like, because they're more confident now. They've changed a little bit. Like they still have some insecurities to work through, but I feel like they're... Um, they're going to just rethink things is the energy I get that you or them. Someone's going to go through these messages and be like, wait a second. I'm like, this person wasn't rejecting me. This person wasn't trying to hurt me. You know, this person was just upset. Like this ultimatum was just, you know, they didn't know what to do anymore. They didn't, they were tired of me not getting it together, you know? And this person, someone's been spying on you. Someone's been spying and this miscommunication is going to be cleared up. There's a lot of miscommunication being cleared up for multiple signs uh, during this retrograde energy is what I'm feeling. Yeah, because this hidden truth that's coming out is going to make someone vulnerable. And then someone's going to choose their words wisely. They're going to plan their approach to come back and send another message. And, you know, say maybe, hey, how have you been? Kind of test the waters. Because someone... Either you thought someone was cold and guarded and distrusting and you're going to realize that they were actually just hurt and they were talking out of a place of pain and they weren't trying to reject you or it's the other way around where you sent the message and someone, you know, has thought all this time that you rejected them, that you were sick of them, that, you know, that you're cold and guarded and distrusting with them and they're going to come to that conclusion like, wait a minute, like they're going to like study kind of like they're going to read those messages again and try to interpret them and like have their friend help them inter help interpret it. And really look deeper into things and they're going to be like, wait a second. Like, they're going to get like a second opinion is what I'm hearing, you know. And I'm hearing Catherine. I hear the name Catherine for somebody. Um, that's just for one of you. But, um, Joseph. Joseph and Catherine. Just for a couple of you. But, um, but anyway... Yeah, I feel like someone's going to look at these messages and they're just going to have this, like, clarity. They're going to be like, wait a minute, like, this person was just sad. And in the moment they couldn't, I feel like maybe this person, like, so if you sent this message to this person, I feel like maybe they were working a lot and they were trying to wrap up karmic cycles. Like, maybe they were in, like, a karmic situation and they had not left the karmic partner, but now they have left the karmic partner for a few of you. But, like, maybe they had, like, a lot of on their plate. Like, they were, like, working all the time, and then they would come home, and they were being nagged at by the karmic. It's, like, like I feel like a businessman or businesswoman kind of energy where they were, like, they had a lot on their plate, basically. Like, they were just working and working and working and then had people nagging at them. So when you sent that message, like, they were not in the right mind frame to receive it well. They had so much stress on their plate. They were like, it was like the adrenaline rush. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like when they got the message, like when they read the message, they were like going to like work or like a business meeting or like they had just gotten in a fight with a relative or with a karmic person or something that day. Like they were just, it was like they were going through a lot already. And then when they saw that message, they were just like, oh my God, this is too much. Like they didn't, like they just kind of shut down. Like they didn't know how to receive that message. Like they just felt stressed out. And it was, like, because they were in that defensive energy. Like, they always, they were, like, very high-strung that day. Like, they had, like, a, I just got, like, a go, 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 go energy. Like, they just, like, they had a lot to do that day. Or they were, like, you know, arguing with people. They just had, like, a lot going on that day. A lot of stress. A lot on their plate. A lot of things that they had to get done. Errands to run. I'm seeing San Francisco for some of you. Just for a couple of you. But I feel like one, like, because I see, like, a businessman in San Francisco where he's, like, I don't know, he's, like, running to an interview or he's running to get to work or he's, like, spilling his coffee and he's just like, oh, this is not my day. Like, just, like, just for just for one or two of you, but it's just, like, that kind of energy where it's just, like, stress and stress and stress. So when he, when this person received your message, 
Um, if you if if you're you know if you message first with this person when this person received your message it's like they they were not in the place to receive it they just you know like they just got overwhelmed they're just like like I can't you know like they didn't know what to do with it they were just like okay one more person that hates me cool you know like they were just like in that negative like eight of swords kind of mentality like they just got in a fight or just stressed out at work or whatever. And they were just kind of like, cool, like this person hates me too. That's, that's great. Great. Thanks. Thanks universe. Like bring it on universe. Like that kind of energy. They were just like pissed at life, you know, just angry, stressed, lonely, um, running on empty, you know, not being able to catch their breath for a minute. So in that mentality, they did not receive the message very well. But now that things have calmed down, I feel like they got out of a bad situation. Like maybe they were stressed about work or money and now they found a new job or they were stressed in a living situation or like with a karmic and now they've left that situation and things are a little bit calmer in their life. Like they can catch their breath. Everything's not so busy, not so hectic. So now they're going back and they're looking at those messages and they're like, wait a minute, like, let me rethink this. Like, wait, I wasn't like, why did I think he or she was rejecting me? That's not what they were trying to say. Yeah, and someone's going to apologize, I feel, too, because they're going to they come to that conclusion. They're like, you know, like they, they're going to realize they were the one that messed up. They were the one that didn't make time for you. They were the one that was just busy or choosing other people or other things over you. And I think that some of them are going to want to take you out of town. Some of them want to take you, like, on an adventure or a honeymoon vacation. Some of you, you guys, like, talked about... um going someplace but they didn't have the money for it or they were always too busy for it like you kept like wanting to get away or like go to like like Lake Tahoe or go to like the mountains or someplace I don't know like you wanted to go somewhere with this person like you wanted to get away with this person and um you know had that adventure that honeymoon that vacation and that vacation and it's like they they just never had time or money for it they always had something going on and you got tired of it you got frustrated it's like you wanted to have fun you wanted you know, a, a connection where the person's actually going to be there for you, actually going to do fun things with you. And I think they're going to apologize for that particularly. They're going to be like, I'm sorry, I didn't give you what you deserved. I'm sorry we never went on that honeymoon or that vacation. I'm sorry, you know, you thought I was going to propose and I ended up not proposing because I had so much going on. I'm sorry I was always too busy for you. I'm sorry I chose this other person or this other energy over you. I'm sorry that I did not put you and put us first. I should have, you know, I shouldn't have just you know, assumed that you didn't want me anymore. I should have talked to you. I should have, I should have been more, um, attentive, you know, confusion. Yeah. There's going to be some confusion on both ends to clear up, but ultimately there's going to be mutual feel. There's going to, there's mutual feelings here. I think the confusion is regarding a third party, but I think that you're going to find out that you actually were their first choice. Yeah. Cause they were sad about this connection ending, but I think the divine is bringing this back around. This is for those in like a third party. Not all of you are in a third party situation, but some of you were. And some of you, some of you, it's like they felt like you rejected them. So they chose the karmic, like they were trying to get out of that karmic situation. And then you were getting impatient and frustrated. And you're like, you know what? Just make a damn choice. Like me or her or me or me or him. Like I'm not like you just got like to that breaking point where you're just like choose already. And I feel like this person was, like I said, was so stressed that they couldn't hear. And this is just for like a couple of you, but like, because there's different variations of the story. You know, if you want a private reading, you can email me and I can go more in depth into, you know, specific details for your specific story. You know, if you want like, you know, specific answers, of course, my email is below in the description box right below this video. You can just copy and paste it. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. But, um, but yeah, it's like. Like someone caught, like someone was about, was close to leaving the karmic, but I feel like you got impatient and frustrated and you messaged, which is normal. Like it happens because you get upset in those situations, you know, like we're only human. It's normal to get emotion when you're, per you know, it's normal to get emotional when your person is like with someone else or in that kind of situation. But some of you gave them an ultimatum and it's like they were actually close to leaving the karmic. But they took your ultimatum as like rejection and like because in that mentality they couldn't understand it. They couldn't comprehend that energy. They thought you were just angry and cold and guarded and closed off and distrusting. So they ended up staying with the karmic longer because they're like, okay, my person doesn't want me anymore. I guess I will stay with the karmic, whatever. Like, And they ended up staying longer in that cycle. But I feel like they've wrapped up that cycle. I feel like they got out of that on their own now is what I'm feeling. But I feel like they were sad. Yeah, I feel like there was like a sadness here. 
The divine is going to intervene though and show that, you know, there is. There's, so we have pride and stubbornness, like two people wanting to talk, but not talking. And then we have manipulation deception. It was like the karmic might have caused manipulation if for those in a karmic situation. I feel like like a boss or like finances, career, money might have gotten in the way. But those cycles are ending basically is what I'm getting. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. So, you know, there is a second chance here. There is some good energy here um, when, this, when this epiphany happens, when this person realizes that, you know, that you were not rejecting them. You were just speaking your truth. Or vice versa, if that's you that needs, needs to realize that, you know. Um, and like I said, this would not be someone that told you no. This would not be someone that was like, I'm sick of you, just get out of my life. This would not be that, that energy. This would be someone that like, you gave them or they gave you an ultimatum or something. You know what I mean? Like where there's a lot of love there, but someone was tired of waiting, but the connection was strong. You know, that would be that energy. So... Don't take it if it doesn't resonate. Um, thank you guys for watching. And like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. Um, any donations are appreciated. My donation links are below. And please subscribe, share, like. Thank you guys.